What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Turn of Force, I believe, and yeah, we finally made it to a Turn of City and all that stuff. Look, I'm yawning. I'm yawning because it's been a tiring few weeks and all that stuff. So, anywho, uh, let's go ahead and uh, go straight to the Pokemon Center because there might be something in there that might be waiting for us. Okay, so let's see. What if we talk to this lady? Hi, you cute little trainer. What kinds of Pokemon are with you? This Poketech app will show you how close your Pokemon feel to you. Okay, so that is probably a good thing because I do have a Pokemon that uh, they, they, they kind of needs uh, a little loving and all that stuff. Uh, let's see, the Friendship Checker uh, app identifies Pokemon that like you. Alright, hold on. Press the R button. Let's press this button. That's the clock. That's my calculator. That is my counter. Uh, that, those are my Pokemon right there. And... Uh, is it that one? Huh. Or is it that one? Wait, wait, wait. I gotta, I gotta take a, look, a good look at it. Alright. Badu, come here. Alright. Okay. So... Oh, okay. Um... Hold on, just a sec. Let's see. What, 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 what happens? Uh, okay, so there's the hidden moves. Okay, so I think I, I, I know what's going on. I don't even know. <laughs> I do not even know. Okay, so here we are in Eterna City, and this is the home for a lot of stuff right here. Now, I'm just going to be taking a small tour of the place. Now, would you look at that? Well, hello there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man, have I missed you. Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Oh, okay. Hello, Draven. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to the myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like that like it, uh, while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these. They should help you on your way. And we get ourselves some TM-93s. Pretty awesome stuff right there. Hmm. Oh, and not only that, but we get the cut technique for our Pokédex app. I think. I don't know. Yes. Okay, remember, you can use that hidden move cut from your Pokédex in the field. It'll let you uh, go places that you uh, were pre previously inaccessible to you. That's an important uh, for filling up your Pokédex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Okay. Man, I love the way she walks, especially in, uh, in chibi form. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our newest uh, application right here. Let's see. Still don't get that one. I don't get that one. And, well, as you can see, we do have two hidden moves now. But the only problem is that Cut is grayed out for the moment because we will be needing a gym badge for this one right here. So, yeah, let's get the heck out of here. And let's go ahead and take a look at that statue right there. Now, before, there, before doing that, let's go in here. Let's go and visit everything. Okay, so what is this lady talking about? And uh, yes, this is the herb shop. Now, if you guys don't know, herbs can actually heal your Pokemon, but it is very bitter. It will actually lower your Pokemon's uh, your po your Pokemon's uh, favor or you know liking towards you and all that stuff. So that's one thing you guys should uh, should uh, take a look at. Now, here we have the Pokemon. I believe is Dialga or or Palkia. No, it's Dialga. There's some writing on the Pokemon statue. Dia, once created, brought a time into being. In laughter or te in tears, the same time flows. Such is the blessing of Dia. The text is barely illegible and has faded completely in places. Huh. Okay. And, well, let's say they say that this Pokemon lived long, long ago. I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. What else do we have to find right here? It should be pretty good and all that crud. Uh, Lexi. Oh, here we have an old man right here, and he's going to be telling you the story of this whole ancient Pokemon. Turna came to a long ago in honor of an ancient Pokemon. Though may things uh, have changed, what is important is has not. I hope it remains that way forevermore. Okay, he doesn't tell you the story. Have you seen the Pokemon statue? When I was a wee child, it used to be the centerpiece of many festivals. You don't say. You don't say. Okay. So, we're not going to cross that because, yes, there's going to be another route for Pokemon and all that stuff. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of Eterna City, especially in Brilliant Diamond. Okay, so, 
you can actually find the bike shop right here. Unfortunately, there won't be anybody in there because, well, where the heck is this gentleman? I don't know. Hmm. But there's a bunch of bikes right here. Now, talk to this kid. The manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. I don't know. Probably the girlfriend or something like that. Uh, let's see. We do have a Pokemon Center, a Pokemart. And what is this? Ah, the condominiums, the name rating services is available right here. So this could be a place where we can actually uh, change the name of your Pokemon. I believe this is the guy. Yes, uh, he is the superintendent uh, of this whole building. Yes, this is the name raider. So if you guys want to change your nicknames, that's the man to go to. Let's see. Excuse me, do you, ha do you, you got that Pokemon named Weasel? Want to trade it for a Chatot? Do I have a Weasel? Huh. Yeah, I don't have Weasel on me. Uh, I'll get you later, homeboy. I will get you later. Okay, so let us move on right here. And see what this lady has. Gardena, our gym leader, goes out to the Eternal Force every so often. I always wonder what she does there. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Right here. Let's see. I've had, uh, oh, I've had these TMs for, uh, for the move Recycle for such a long time now. They're not anything that I have much use for these days. I do hope you'll uh, put them to good use, young trainer. And bam, we get ourselves some TM67s. Pretty damn good right there. Look at that. Okay, so I think that's all the items that we can get. But you know what? We're going to take a look at the other location right here. And would you look at that? Look at that. Okay, so we got people. That probably means stickers and shoot. No, nothing right there. There's some sparkling. The Grand Underground. Now, the Grand Underground, you guys are going to be hearing as... Uh, look, you, you guys are going to be seeing a little bit later. And the secret base is another great. Okay, so these individuals are talking about the Grand Underground, which in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, it's more like the wild area in Pokemon X or Pokemon Sword and Shield. And uh, we will be getting there ev eventually, you know, just whatever. And, well, let's see, what did this guy say? Since you're visiting Eterna, you'll need uh, to get yourself a bike to take down a, a ride down Cycling Road. True. We do not have a bike right now. We do not have a bike. Okay, so let's see. Huh. There's nobody here. Okay, I claim this house in the name of Draven. Okay. So, let us move on right here now. I think there's an item right here somewhere. There might be an item right here. Hold on. Let's see. There might be an item. Uh, I was probably imagining things. I don't know. Okay, so... First is first. This location is the underground man's house digging down for an adventure. This episode is going to be about the Grand Underground. Let's see. I believe you can talk to this guy? Probably? I don't know. Let's dig up some treasure. I'm from Orbrook. I work at the Mining Museum. I got advice from the underground man on digging up fossils and spheres. Before I get digging, let me share this advice with you. While you're digging, you may uncover dark rocks. They are very hard. If you keep hitting them, the wall will collapse. Keep that in mind when, you, uh, when you're digging up the treasure in no time. Okay. So here we have the underground man. And he's going to be like, I am, the, I am the first one that started digging out of the underground. Grand underground. I am. You can call me the underground man. Everyone else does. I'll make a, I'll make a gift, uh, gift of this uh, to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. And here we have... The Explorer Kit, which, of course, will actually send us to the Underground Path, or the Grand Underground right here. So use the Explorer Kit from your bag's key items pockets, uh, pocket to visit the Grand Underground. Okay. Let me mentor you as you become a full-fledged Spelunker. Just follow my lead. Oh, damn. Okay, so this is actually happening. This is happening. First, go to the Grand Underground. Going to the underground is quite easy. Simply use the Explorer Kit. I can't be f I can't be used in a, indoors or in a cave. Now give it a try. All right, so I, I'm not even doing anything, guys. Okay, it's doing it by itself. Holy crud! I am going there by myself. Nintendo has taken over. So here we are in the Grand Underground, and look at this place. Rourke is in the building, and he's like, "Hey, Draven, this is your first time here. Welcome to the Sinnoh's Grand Underground." This is a network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying under, uh, beneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing uh, down here, down in this expanse of a place? That's kind of a hard answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasure, or you can make your own secret base. 
You should talk to the underground man in Eternus City to learn more. Why is the way to go back up to the surface? Remember, why? I, oh, I have to get going now. I'll see you around. And, well, there he is. He is gone. And, well, here we have the Grand Underground. Now, if you press the R button right here, guys, you will actually see a map. A huge map and a lot of question marks. Now, these question marks, of course, are the secret rooms that you'll be able to find different kinds of Pokemon, rare Pokemon, and all that stuff. Now, remember, these Pokemon right here are pretty rare, very strong. Some of these Pokemon... You might not you might not be able to see until later on in the original games you'll see them right here now there is a little sparkly area right here now if you press let's see if you press the if you press the R button on the top you'll see the sparkly button right there press it again and bam there is a wall bulging slightly would you like to give it a try digging into it yes I will now oh there's a note tucked inside the Explorer kit digging for fossils I put a sledgehammer and a pickaxe in your explorer kit. Use them and you'll be able to dig out so all sorts of stuff in the walls. Before the wall comes down, I'm down, that is. I'm sure you could do it. Good luck, youngster. Something pinched. Okay, so something pinged. So, as you can see right here, I have a pickaxe. And if you press the R button, you got the sledgehammer. Now, a sledgehammer will be able to break a at least two layers of the... Of, of boulders or, or ground right here now if you use it way too much the wall will collapse a little bit faster now if you pick out the pick tax for like smaller details and all that stuff you know the tumbling will go down slower so we're gonna use the little pick tag and as you can see there's a black black stone like they were talking about and if you see on the far right corner you're gonna you're actually gonna be seeing a crack on the wall now I'm gonna be using the R button right here because there we go we're breaking through and as you can see we have two items that, you know, it pinged on. So what we're going to do is switch it back. That way we don't get in trouble right here. And look at that. So we got one item. And we got two items. Bam. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy right there. Okay. So what exactly did we get? We get a blue spear. And... Oh, look at that. Pretty box stone. The pretty box stone started to shine. And with that, you will be able to get yourself an Electrovirus statue. This is going to be different Pokemon that vary right here. So, there we go, guys. So, that is two. Now, let's see. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is exploring the, the secret room right here. I'm not going to be spending too much time in this place, guys. Off screen, that's where I'm going to be doing all my thing. So, here we have in the Fountain Spring Cave. The Pokemon in here are a lot tougher to actually capture than most Pokemon so just keep that in mind as you can see you got Gastrodon and uh, yeah you don't you, you don't normally see these kinds of Pokemon until way way later on and here we have a Psyduck just like trying to attack us so here we go getting attacked by a Psyduck duck and look at the artwork on the backside holy crud now this place can actually be used for both training and get captured Pokemon. As you can see, we got a level 19 Psyduck, so pretty good training, pretty good, you know, capturing and all that stuff right here. So here we go, we're gonna absorb some Pokemon, and well, let's see, this, whoa, oh yeah, this Psyduck will have some experience, uh, some actual, some actual, uh, some pretty good moves right here. Now, like I said, guys, off screen, I might be, yeah, I might be capturing a Pokemon here and there. I, I was playing Shining Pearl, and you know, yeah, we found some different Pokemon that we could be using. And crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. We got put to sleep. Holy crud. Okay, so this Psyduck is a crafty one. Let's go right ahead and see. Oh, yeah, we do have an awakening. Look at that. You see? Always come prepared, guys. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so my Pokemon has uh, woken up. And we're getting ourselves a Water Pulse because, you know, Psyduck is a... You know, he's a jerk like that. So let's go right ahead and return the favor. Let's go for a Stun Spore. Thank you, Quick Claw. And here we go. Stun Spore. Paralysis. That's right. Okay, so now... Now... Oh, crud baskets. See? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Let's go right ahead and do this Awakening again. It's the same old process. Don't you just love the AI just trying to screw with you like here, guys? Okay, so here we have a Zen head button. Now that might... Yeah, that 
that actually might screw with us a little. So let's go ahead and give it one more absorb attack. Hopefully this guy won't just beat us. Psyduck's actually like, you know... <laughs> Psyduck's really, uh... Really putting in the work right here. Okay, so it is paralyzed. All right. I'm gambling. Let's go with an absorb attack right here. And... Come on. Yes, okay. So... Now we are able to capture this Pokemon. Like I said, these Pokemon in here are a lot tougher to actually catch. And, well... Well, would you look at that? Okay, so... We got absorbed, or we got uh, absorbed, uh, you know, disabled. So, we got some net balls. This is a water type Pokemon, so let's go. Get in the Pokeball, you a hole Pokemon, you. Come on. Two and three. There we go. You see? Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out the mother grabbing peace sign. Okay, alrighty. So, we got ourselves a Psyduck, and our Pokemon are leveling up. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at this data right here. So here we have the duck Pokemon. Water type Pokemon, 2 foot 7, you know, 43 pounds of pure, just blank stare and all that crud too. Anywho, if its unusual headache worsens, it starts exhibiting odd powers. It can't remember doing so, so remember, okay. Uh, let's see, I do believe we captured a Psyduck somewhere? Hold on, let me, let me, uh... Let me try and figure out this uh, nickname. So give me just a sec, guys. Okay, guys, because I can't remember everything. Yes, we did capture this Pokemon back in Pokemon White 2. And yes, we will be continuing that just shortly. Kind of working on that. But hey, say hello again to my duck. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of tempted to using him on my team and all that stuff. Okay, so my duck. Uh, you know what? Let's send him back to the box because, well, you know. <laughs> Anywho, that's one example of what you you will be able to find right here now. There are some rare Pokemon that you can actually find right here, guys. I mean, explore every box, every uh, every area as often as possible. As you can see, there is a there's a Buisel and there is a Lickitung right here. So, huh. You know what? I'm going to go off screen and I'm going to try and capture all of these Pokemon right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I'm back, baby, and well, after my little exploration and having to waste a buttload of Pokeballs, I am back up to the surface, and here we have the underground man, and he's like, aha, I see you've done some underground, uh, or gone to the underground, well done, take these as a reward, and here we have a red sphere, a small red sphere, and a blue sphere, and a green one. There are apparently some Pokemon in the grand underground that can't normally find here. Meeting new Pokemon is a hundred times more fun, and it's and it's a rare one. Your road to being a spelunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, come visit me. Okay, alrighty. So we might as well talk to him a little bit because I, you know, you know Draven, you know good old Draven. He doesn't really read directions and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and talk to the man here. Okay, so how how is it uh, how is it down or how was it down in the Grand Underground? Big and empty, I would think. But that's just because you're a novice spelunker. There are many hidden things down there that are invisible to the naked eye. For my next test, I want you to dig up some treasures for me. While underground, check the radar for any spots of yellow light. Go to such location and search for the treasure pressing the A button. I already did that and I found some items. Ah, you see, you were able to use the radar effectively. Well done indeed! Here's your reward and here we have a digger drill. Don't know what that is. Okay, the digger drill... Okay. Digging the walls and the underground path and unearth uh, hidden things. Treasure you will find straight into your bag. Spheres are special gems that can be exchanged for good ones down there. Now, what should I assign you next? I don't know. Have you gone... Let's see. Have you grown weary repeatedly going back to the underground? Well, it's not over yet. Next up is your secret base. That's right. I will teach you how to make your own secret base. All you need to do is do is the digger drill that I gave you earlier. Simply go to the underground, uh, Grand Underground, and use the digger drill whenever you like. It will instantly create you your own secret base. So your next assignment is make a secret base. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, guys. I am not going to lie. In Pokemon Shining Pearl, I did not go back to this guy and get the digger drill. Didn't have an idea. So I got some shit to do after this episode just to, you know, figure things out. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you don't uh, you don't read directions. Always read directions, guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna register this item to to our uh, our our bog or you know our R button right here. That way, 
We don't have to like, you know, mess up or anything. So we're going back to the, uh, we're going back and we're actually going to be playing alone right here. And first thing is first, let's see, we got the digger drill. What is the, what do you do with the digger drill? Ah, okay, so you can pick any place and we're just going to, we're just going to go like that. And just like that, you are going to be making your own secret base. Let's go ahead and take a look. And, well, let's see. Look at that. Okay, so here we have a secret base, just like in Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby off the Sapphire. And, uh, well, place a statue. You got quite a few places to actually place statues. Now, you can actually, uh, you have an upwards of 18 statues to post up there. And right now, we only have one statue. I can only imagine how many statues I have for Pokemon China Pearl. I'm telling you guys, I never ever did this. So we're gonna place this one right here, down the middle. Yeah, buddy. And that is pretty much it right there. Now I do believe, I do believe that it, whatever statues you leave down there, it affects of what kind of Pokemon will come inside and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and uh, go outside, go inside, see what, uh, see if we can actually find a Pokemon here or there. And there is nothing right now, huh? We are just getting started. Okay, so I guess that's how you use the digger drill and all that crud. Okay, so let's go back upstairs. Let's see. Uh, okay, so, oh yeah, press Y. Let's go back up and see what the old man actually gives us right here after, you know, applying a, uh, applying, uh, applying a statue. So here we are back in the, uh, in the surface. And we are going to be talking to the old man again. And he's, oh yeah, we made our, our secret base. I thought I might have been asking too much of you, but you did it! Well done, take these as your reward, and we get ourselves some quick balls. Hmm. And dust balls and dive balls, oh crap! By the way, the digger drill can only be used once. If you wish to move your secret base, you will need to obtain another digger drill! What the hell?! Uh... <laughs> Anywho... You can trade spheres for one underground, okay. Now, what do I have to show you next? I don't know. You've made yourself a secret base, yes, it's totally empty, why not? Why not play statues? I did that, okay. Alright, we did the secret- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Square pedestal XL. Okay, you stuck at the end, this will be my final test. The ground underground attracts a lot of people, you're not the only one down there. Other spelunkers have secret bases of their own. Your final test is to find someone else's secret base. When you do, make sure to look inside. Wow. Wow, again. Good old Draven does not follow directions, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to, we have to get a, it would seem that we have to get a lot, and I mean a lot of spheres to actually, you know, trade for a, uh, a, a digger drill, so, yeah, that's what happens when you don't listen, guys, so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this, we're gonna actually get some spheres, because, good God, we need it, and it seems that we have four items, so we're gonna get the small parts right here. And there's a black, well, black stone. And, god dang it. Okay. So now we're going to have to go with the mallet. And it looks like we found an item right there. And look at that. Okay, so we found two, two items worthwhile right there. There's one. And there's two. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm just pretty much wasting everything right now. And just like that, the wall collapses, and we only get two items. We get a red sphere and a, another statue right here, and this one's a pretty box stone. And what do we have going into this place? And we get ourselves a Bronzong statue, which is nice. Okay. So that's done. Where can we find uh, somebody else's uh, secret base? I want to know. Is this online? Is this, uh, I don't know. We will find out. Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. And, well, we got Diglett right here. Lucky Diglett. And I do not know what they do right here. But let's... Since we're doing this anyways, might as well... <laughs> might as well go into the other room. And this guy right here will trade you for some different stuff. As you can see, he has a digger drill. Which he'll, he'll trade you for eight blue... Eight small blue spheres right here. So, unfortunately, we only have two. 
But as you can see, guys, we got plenty of more things that we can actually get, such as the TM67, which is Recycle, Thunder Wave, Sleep Talk, Swagger, and Pluck. So these are pretty nice items right here. And, uh, well, I guess my adventure is going to continue. And, huh. I'm only assuming... I think I found it. I think I found it. I see it right over there. We don't really have to go very, very far, but... I believe the red dot at the very end of the screen right there is a secret base. I could be wrong. Alright, so we're going to be going right here and let's see if we can find a secret base. And uh, that's actually my secret base. Holy crap. <laughs> that's my secret base. Never mind. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and leave another... Let's go ahead and leave another statue right here, okay? So let's put, let's put bronze on right here, okay? All right, we got two, and now we're gonna look for a secret base around here. Now, do we have to go on the internet to actually do this, or, huh? You know what? Let's go right ahead and go onto the internet right here. So we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna go back down. I believe doing this by the internet, then people, you know, there's just gonna be people going around. So let's go right ahead and try this one more time. Okay, I promise, guys, this is the last time we will do this. Uh, okay, local communication internet. Okay, so yes. And we are connected towards the internet. My internet kind of sucks a little, but it is what it is, guys. And yes, we are now connected to the internet, and we have saved the progress. Okay, so now we're going back down, and let's go ahead and find... Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and find some uh, secret bases right here. Okay, so that's mine. And, well, there's going to be two doors. Oh, oh, oh. Something just happened. Okay, so I see a blue dot right there. Alright, blue dot could quite possibly be a secret base. I could be wrong. I don't know, guys. This is like the first time playing this. My bad. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And we're going to skip out on these uh, these shiny things. We're going to do this offline or off screen and all that crud. And see what we can actually find right here. Okay, so here we have a look at Diglett. That is nine of them. How do we get nine? And look at that. We found a secret base. This is Alberto's secret base. So whoever you are, Alber Alberto, you're featured in my channel. And, well, it looks like there's nothing right here. And, oh, well, what is this? That's a, oh, that's a, I think that's a Rotom statue. And statue effect. Slightly raises the appearance rate of electric type Pokemon. Okay, so there we go. We have found we have found a secret base, and well, let's see. Is there anything else? I do not know. Actually, let's go into the room and see what else we can actually find right here. So here we have in the fountain spring, and we're going to be finding some water type Pokemon as usual. Uh, off screen, I did capture I did capture a Buisel. I did capture all of them, so that's pretty cool right there. Um, and who is this? Hello, I'm Emmy. What I'd give to find a gorgeous uh, stone box. Kind of already used it, I think. I don't know. Okay, so I think I am looking at something else right here. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> I'm going through the whole area right here. Trying to figure out what this whole thing is all about. Still, it has entered the Grand Underground. And, well, we're going to be going in and going into another room right here seeing what we can actually find and here we have the spacious cave this right here you'll be able to find some pretty cool pokemon oh here we go looks ray trying to attack me and well i'm trying to run away from all these pokemon surprisingly these guys are fast as hell so okay so going in here and oh look at that we we found somebody <laughs> Okay, so, okay, never mind. They're not going to talk to me. Hi. Hi. Uh, whatever. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and find another secret base right here. Let's see. This is the first time I'm actually doing this online, guys, so do excuse the, the, the whole dramatics right there. And, well, here we have another secret base. Let's see what we can actually find. And from, oh, wow. Look at that. This guy's got nothing but dragons in here. Woohoo! Okay, alrighty, I like this room right here. And let's see, statue effect, the appearance of dragon type Pokemon will be found right here. Okay. 
So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm learning. I'm learning a lot right here, guys. Oh, look at that. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to go upstairs. Uh, I really don't have much to do right here, guys. I'm going to I'm going to go up. And that is exactly what's going to happen right there. So Okay. All righty. So, we've uh, we've completed another task and uh, let's go right ahead and talk to good old man right here and yes we found somebody else's uh, secret base and we get ourselves a round pedestal medium and a sturdy medium and a statue set up secret bases to appear in part mysterious effects you can even get the power from someone else's secret base don't be shy make the power of the statues yours huh okay that is uh that is interesting that is uh fantastic right there okay so let's finish it off right here guys and get and, and, and trade the pokemon that you know i found oh that's the that's the gym. <laughs> I'm going back down. Okay, my bad. Anywho, not going to battle you yet. I am going to the. I'm going right here because yes, we have a. Uh, yeah, we have to trade a Pokemon. Uh, where? Ah, there you are. For a chat top, but it's because I believe the chat tots is a little rare in this one. So let's go ahead and trade level 16 Weasel, and. You know, finish it off right here. I know it's a quick episode, I know. But in the next one, we will be doing some battles. Getting some stuff done. You know, getting our groove on and all that stuff right here. So, look at that. We are trading Pokemon. Bye-bye, Buisel. And say hello to Chatot. And look at that. This Chatot right here is looking like a Chatot. Or Chirap. Okay, so a pretty cool Pokemon right here. And we are going through the Pokédex. It's both a normal and flying type Pokémon. They can learn and speak human words. If they gather, they all learn the same saying. Hmm. Don't really get it, but it's pretty cool. And yes, we get ourselves a nice chat tot. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual level of this Pokémon. Let's see. Okay, he better not have screwed me over. He got me. He gave me a level 15 chat tot. Okay, so let's go ahead. So it has a level berry. And well, let's see. Tangled feet raises evasiveness if the Pokemon's confused, and it does have a nice move set and all that crud. So it's pretty cool. Very very cool. Very cool. Anywho, guys, that is pretty much it for this episode right here. I know, short, small, sweet, all that fun. Uh, in the next episode, we will be going into the Eterna City Gym to actually battle uh, Gardena, and then you know see what happens from here on in. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.